I focus our first visit so heavily on um, decreasing, minimizing, avoiding, limiting, eliminating <laughs> processed carbs and sugar, because that's the main problem when it comes to, um, I think, weight gain in this country is just this um, hormonal link between the types of foods that we're eating and slow but sure weight gain over time. So I go over low carb as kind of like a default nutrition plan. I use fasting as more like an added intervention with low carb. So like low carbs, the first default um, you know, dietary intervention, if appropriate, if the person has no history of disordered eating, they're not pregnant or breastfeeding, you know, like there's, there's like a list in my head that I go through active chemotherapy, um, then they can try intermittent fasting as like an added, um, intervention. However, certain food types don't always have to be around and certain food groups don't have to always be around. So just because we need food to survive, doesn't mean we have to like hide, you know, goldfish and Oreos and uh, sugary cereals and crackers and bread in all of our pantries and cabinets and refrigerators. So intuitive eating will never work if like hyper palatable foods are in my life, but it can. And I can, you know, be like very mindful of when I'm full and when I'm done eating, if I'm focusing more on like protein and fats. So I like to go over um, how carbs and starches and sugars affect glucose, and then how the glucose spiking leads to an insulin release from your pancreas, and how insulin is the hormone that's released from the pancreas that is used to shuttle glucose into your cells for use, for energy. However, our bodies don't really need glucose from the diet because we create our own sugar through gluconeogenesis in the liver, the breakdown of glycogen. It's crazy when I tell patients that I don't think oatmeal is like a better choice than Lucky Charms. I tell them that and they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, oatmeal is just going to spike your blood sugar. Like it's not even worth your time. Don't even bother with it. Like eat eggs, <laughs> like skip the oatmeal. <laughs> and bacon and eggs. Yes, eat bacon and eggs. They're like, what do you mean that's better than oatmeal? You sound crazy. I'm like, okay, maybe I sound crazy, but I'm your weight loss doctor and I'm telling you to eat bacon and eggs instead of oatmeal.